Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending September 11th, 2021. We're doing things differently this time around. I've just got some news articles up here. We're just going to talk through them and see what we have to say. Uh, Mamoru Hosoda's Bell has now made more than any other Mamoru Hosoda film. Um, earned a total of about $53 million as of Friday, U.S. Uh, that's 57 days after it opened in Japan. Now made more than The Boy and the Beast. Um, so it is the highest grossing film ever uh, at topping the box office for three consecutive weekends. Good for him. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, here's hoping that Bell kind of works out. And certainly the... the Critical, direct, critical response has been positive, so here's open. Um, High Dive is leaving Verve, which means nothing to most people outside of the anime industry and the anime fandom. Um, so as of September 30th, they will no longer be part of Verve. Um, subscription to High Dive done via Verve will not be renewed. We'll get an email inviting you to sign up for High Dive um, if that is expiring for you. Um, Verve is a Crunchyroll brand, so it's now part of Sony, uh, and the whole Funimation group, um, um, and it, High Dive is mostly a Sentai Filmworks product, so presumably Verve is now kind of moving under the Sony umbrella, and now High Dive is moving out of there because they're not really part of that. I don't know. No. No, I, I think, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they're just divorcing, so to speak. Yeah, I know. Mm hmm Yeah, that's the interesting thing, is that, you know, um, now there's not much reason to use Verve, because you just go to Funimation.com. So, here's seeing where that goes, I have no idea. Um, I'm... <laughs> It is the problem with consolidation under a, a larger corporate brand is that they have other deals that they need to make, other other arrangements, and this is now part of a different corporate umbrella. I don't know. Um, quick anime announcement. Um, we're getting an anime of the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting. Yeah, pretty much. Um, the... Story is described as Kirishima Toru is as vicious a Yakuza as they come, to the point where he's earned the nickname the Demon of Sakuragi. To get him under control, he's given a new mission straight from the boss to babysit his daughter. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it shows a policeman, a Yakuza, and two cute little, like, first grader girls. Um, so, this should be fun. Um, as you say, looking forward to that. Um, some rather sad news, um, Gact, the musician and actor, is going on indefinite hiatus, um, because of a life-threatening condition. Um, he has an early-onset neurological disease that results in a voice disorder. Um, he says he's been uh, feeling unwell since August 6th, um, and has been ill and losing weight for several weeks. He's currently stable, but, um, they need to move fast on this, apparently. So, here's hoping. Um, he's uh, contributed theme songs for the North Star, Final Fantasy, and Mobile Suit Gundam, particularly Zeta Gundam, the Zeta Gundam movies. Um, he also appeared in Sket Dance, uh, playing a character modeled after himself, um, so forth and so on, and also a giant, giant Gundam nerd. So, um, here's hoping, Gax. Hope you recover quickly. Never fun. Um, TV Tokyo uh, announced a reorganization starting in October. Um, there, and part of that, they're uh, launching a new anime programming block, uh, Mondays through Thursdays at midnight, called Anime Zone. Uh, the two anime in the inaugural season will be Tacked Up Destiny, Tuesdays at midnight, um, and Komi Can't Communicate on Wednesday. Um, uh, and uh, Watcha Pre Maji will also air on the channel Sundays at 10 a.m. Um, and then, um, they're planning to do a new audition program October 24th. Um, so, yeah, some reorganization at TV Tokyo. TV Tokyo's done a lot of anime broadcasting over time. 
So I'm curious to see if this kind of consolidates their, their anime programming or expands it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Come we can't communicate. Could... Right? Yeah. <laughs> Come we can't communicate could totally be prime time. I, I wish they would do that. Um, love that story. Mm. Right, yeah. Except oh. oh, one second, sorry. We are Wow, that's weird. We are not live, what? Um They are not hearing you. One second. That would suck. Uh, headphones? That works? The same. Oh, there we go. I think we're good. We're good. Okay. Cool. Right. Thank cool. you. Okay. I don't know what happened there. <clears throat> um, oh, can, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can, you hear me? <laughs> can you hear me now? Um, so what part did they not hear? I don't know. We said, <laughs> holy cow. Uh, um, well, as long as you keep the secret about where all those billions of dollars are, sorry, Brent, yes. it'll be fine. We're good. <laughs> um, not so good is Beat Takeshi. Um, um, he was assailed by a man who was carrying a pickaxe. Jesus. Uh, no one was injured. He was just the guy came after him with a It's not funny. It's just a guy came after him with a pickaxe. pickaxe. Um, so Beat Takeshi was, I believe, getting into a car. Um, and this guy came after him with a pickaxe and uh, attacked him. Um, uh, apparently there was, uh, um, some history of, like, the guy had sent him a fan letter or something and he hadn't replied, something along those lines. Uh, okay. uh disgruntled okay. fan, kind of weirdness. Um, but, uh, yeah, so he's fine, everyone's fine, but please do not attack people with pickaxes. You know, <laughs> this is, but the thing of it is, is that wow. this would not even be ironic if he were... Right, yes, it's I mean, true. None of this is... None of this beat for Takeshi him. For, is for, beat. For, no, <laughs> oh, no, beat, to, beat to, if things like this happen to beat Takeshi, it would be like, wait, are we talking about a movie of his? Or is this real life? Because this is the stuff that happens to him in the movies. So, yep. yeah. Weird. Well, when I saw that earlier and I, I sent you that article, Brett, I was just like, a pickaxe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, it. It's unusual to hear of like any kind of gun particular violence. Yeah, exactly. Sure. But violence does occur. And mm -hmm. you know, people, you know, you make a kitchen knife or whatever, yeah. you know, a blunt trauma object. Where in the hell were you <laughs> that you just happen to have a pickaxe available? Lawson. Not even a what shovel. Was, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, what, what was the thought process? Murder, murder weapon, murder weapon. Sharp, sharp knife, no, hammer, no, chainsaw, excessive. Oh, pickaxe. Pickaxe. Pick there we go. Pickaxe. <laughs> That's did a quiet we order this and easy online? to lug around weapon. <laughs> right. And did we order this online? Did we find yeah. this in a store? <laughs> mm -hmm. Here you go, sir. Here's your... Uh, what is this? <laughs> Never you mind. <laughs> a pickaxe. The only, right the only guy in Japan who had a holster big enough for a pickaxe. <laughs> pickaxe. <laughs> That's an odd purchase from Amazon.jp. Wow. Pickaxe I, I think if you told somebody, you know... Who asked what's your pickaxe for? And you said, I'm gonna attack beat Takeshi. They'd go, tracks. <laughs> that seems like something that would happen to him. I guess, yeah, that's you know? that's totally yeah. legit. Are you working on a new script with him? Yeah, exactly. You know. <laughs> I'm trying uh, to inspire his next great like piece of work. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Uh um I can only laugh about it because everyone was okay. Right. Yes. Uh um uh Shueisha. TV Tokyo, Toy Animation, and a, a theater chain in Japan announced August 26th they're launching a new anime streaming service called Animeka. Um, oh. All on the same day, um, um, it is currently only available in Japan, but an international rollout is expected. Mm. Um, the company, the uh, uh, Animeka LLP company, was created back in April to oversee operations of the service. Um, it's available within the Apple TV app. Um, at the moment, uh, the company stated the content includes hundreds of anime from a wide variety of genres and includes past titles and recent hits. Shocker. They also plan to release exclusive content, ex including spin-offs and documentaries based on popular anime. 
Um, the service has a 14-day free trial period in Japan, follow afterwards about 450 yen a month. Um, and includes uh, video on demand, offline as well as online, and they show Demon Slayer, um, I think uh, My Hero Academia, and two other anime I don't immediately recognize in the screenshot. So mm. certainly some big hit heavy hitters. This is probably their response. Yeah, yeah. They're they're circling the wagons for another streaming service mm -hmm. to do what they can. Interesting. Yeah. Toy and Shueisha and TV yeah. Tokyo. It's an interesting combination. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe they're hoping Sony's feeling like in a buying frenzy. Be like, quick, form this now <laughs> for like 37 bucks. And then Sony will drive up and be like, here's a billion dollars. Mm. Oh, 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 we, we begrudgingly accept. <laughs> exactly. Oh, right. Darn the luck. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we were just going to do great things. No, you weren't. Shh. Don't mess this deal up. Exactly. We will got, get the guy with the pickaxe and beat Takeshi. Then we'll <laughs> yeah. mess you up. Um, some interesting news that I'm still kind of trying to figure out, so bear with me. Um, <laughs> it was announced um, um, that the um, uh, next arc of Demon Slayer is coming out on Fuji TV this fall and winter season. The Entertainment District arc. District arc. Um, and that will be streamed by Funimation when it premieres. Um, they will, Fuji TV will also air five special compilations of the first season with new footage on five separate nights, mm -hmm. which will lead up to the TV broadcast premiere of Mugen Train, September 25th. Oh. Wow. Um, three of these specials already premiered with new footage in October and December 2020 in Japan. Um, one of them opened in Japanese theaters with an unlimited screening run. Um, et cetera, and so forth. Now then, um, we got news that, let's see if I can get this, um, um, Yuriko Nakamura, manager of Fuji TV's programming department, detailed on Monday, her station will air the Entertainment District arc, um, on TV anime, saying that it's going to air without changes. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> um... I don't know what changes were being considered. Um, Runtime, maybe? I, I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. The Entertainment District. It's As set, in lights that might be red? Correct. Yes. It is oh. set in a, a red lights district. Um, and so they've said it'll go through the usual standards practices review, but they plan to air the content without changes. Interesting. Um, okay. And it sounds like because it's popular, kind of, they're like, well, people, yeah, the kids seem to like it. So <laughs> oh, boy. let's go for it. Uh, There's so, nothing wrong with Opie. It's after 10 p.m. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay. Um, it will, it will it's air. The, it's the current version of Hermit Village. Yeah, exactly. Um, it'll air Sundays at 11.15 p.m. So oh, it's so definitely late at night. Mm -hmm. So that explains it. Wow. A shonen anime airing late night. That's actually really interesting. Hmm. Um, that they're just kind of going to have to do that to make that air. Um, yeah. Wow. Huh. Oh, <laughs> Dang. Shonen's going brave new places. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wonder <clears throat> how they're going to do that. And, and again, I've, I've not seen any of this arc. I don't know how, you know how much it gets into that subject. Um, that's oh, really interesting. Mom, I'm going to go see you <laughs> train tonight. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, that's, that's fine, honey. I said that the movie was great. What was it? Yeah, I'm going to be watching this tonight. Just don't... Whatever you hear, don't come in <laughs> my room. Just don't come in my room. Why? Knock on the door first. <laughs> this could be the brave new world. Next thing you see, the One Piece red light district. Yeah, park. there we go. Naruto, the red light district. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, whoa, okay, easy. Dial, is, dial it back, Jens. These in one piece, they're all adults. Uh, <laughs> although I guess Just look away, Mom. Look yeah. away. <laughs> um, I wonder. Um, let me just check. Um, how old are they? Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think they were all, like, adult adult. <laughs> like, um, let's just see here. Um... 
Tanjiro is um, okay. So he's 15, 16, 17 mm. as the story goes on. So he's an adult. Oh, mm. but, okay. You know, by the stand, by the standards of, of that culture at the time, he is technically an adult. Okay. Um, you know, we, we could argue otherwise, but that, you know, okay. Um, yeah, he's 13 when the stuff happens, but then it fast forwards to 15. Um, okay. and then, um, blonde boy and boarhead boy. Um, in, uh, in Oscar is boarhead. I don't remember. Yeah. Blonde kid. Um, 15 and 16. Yeah. So they're all technically adult. So just, and in Oscar is, is topless almost all the time. Yes, exactly. So they have so, precedent. Exactly. <laughs> Wow, interesting. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll be I'll be curious to hear yeah. what people have to say about that when it happens. And I wonder, and again, I haven't I haven't read any of it. Um, I wonder if this also isn't one of those things where folks are like, <gasps> "It's in the red light district." Red, red light district. Oh, you know, they oh, we we must censor. We must make sure it's perfectly fine. They're like, "No, it's just that's just where it is. Like, there's nothing. Yeah. Nothing happens. Yeah. I don't know." Well, how to pick up or- girls in a dungeon? did mm. a whole thing with Ishtar, the goddess of, of that quarter, the, mm. the uh, entertainment quarter. Okay. And they, you know, Belle Crandall goes all through there, meets a fox girl, picks up like some of the other people. So there's, mm. they're in that district, but sure. nothing at all salacious occurs. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just a place. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I have a feeling that it's not going to be just a place, but mm. you know, the, the people on Pivot, uh, on uh, Pick Fix or Pivix or whatever. Pick Fix, yeah. Yeah, and they're, they're going to be like, hey, we're going to rule 34 Mugen. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. The manga cut got there before us. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you bastards cut us out of the loop. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, so that's the thing. Um, yeah, that's all the news that I could find this week. Um, That's it for the news this week. Thanks for watching.